So uh, here's West Fryer, and he's just bought a packet of, tell us, blueberry potato chips. Blueberry flavored potato chips, and they taste like. You think it would have the normal taste? Mm. So like having uh, blueberry pancakes with them, uh, Full of blueberry, blueberry syrup on them in the morning. Yeah. Full of Crunchy blueberry goodness. Blueberry pancakes. Right. Blueberry goodness. Are they salty? And not really. They're just sweet. It, uh, but actually, it's not bad. If you're looking for sort of candy and a chip. actually a silkworm and in fact when the tastings are empty they get thrown out here and uh, they're all the discarded silkworms, the dead ones. But they go into the water over here and those, you can't see it, but the threads coming off those silkworms or the silk uh, cocoons are being going up in this machine and coming up the threads and going into here and actually being spun onto here. You can maybe just see the thread there. You can see it being spun there onto the big wheel at the top. So that's all the silk coming off the actual silk one itself. I had no idea the process was that direct. So this lady here is watching, and as the silk worms go on, she throws one in like that, tosses it in, and it it, and it just becomes part of the thread. So we're pulling these silk things out. Taking the silk worm out, discarding it, stretching the silk over this. To make, I don't know what it is. And of course, what silk production would be complete without going through the gift shop. And so here we are, all the silk pillows, and silk bedspreads, and silk pillowcases. Lots of silk. <coughs> I'm sorry, in the shop. So we are currently on a barge boat on, I don't know what river, uh, but this is Can heading Albert into... Access the yeah, access to the Yangtze River. Um, and we are heading up this sort of um, canal that leads into the water city. I don't know, what, has it got a proper Chinese name? We don't know. Suzhou. Suzhou. So, so it's all part of Suzhou. So uh, what we're doing is just cruising up this little canal. Let me spin this around and show you. Oh, you're throwing that boat. Cool. All right, I'll do the same thing. So China, oh, and I'm oh. glad we weren't there for the throwing out of the water. Was the baby with the bath so water? Melinda is here and Dale. Look at him, he's rowing this boat. Oh. That looks so romantic.
West Fryer, catch a thought. Hey, so here we are in uh, the Venice of China with our own boat. So about the equivalent of what, $10 or $12 US each. Yeah, about that. We are seeing the homes and laundry of those that live on the canal right here. In this city that was, what, started in 500 and something BC or? Well, it's been here a while. Well. Was that? 512. 512 BC? Like memory, you know, remember when 512 was all the <laughs> Gail, lovely. Catch a thought. Um, this is an incredible thing because we're not, we're here, but we're not seeing tons of people. We're kind of like a private tour. It's very exciting. Melinda uh, Alfred, catch a thought. Uh -huh. I think it's amazing to see a city that I've been to before, but in a different way. Yeah. Um, it's a real in new incarnation for me for the city. So we are standing at Suzhou Railway Station, uh, and um, we've had an interesting day wandering around the city, seeing lots of cool stuff. Uh, and Wes is here just doing a digital story, Mr. Digital Storytelling. So here he is, he's got an app on his phone called Story Kit. Right, and, and so tell us about it. Well, it's a free app from the, I think, children, the International Children's Digital Library, and it allows you to add photos, add text, and then add audio. So I'm just building the story really quick, and since it's kind of loud in here, um, I'm going to wait to do our audio till we're in the train, but it will be kind of cool to get everybody's voice right here, and since we have good memories, hopefully, since it's just happened of what we experienced, it'll be a good time to record. Okay. So you've actually just uploaded it with um, it'll, little images? Yeah. It'll, it'll upload, it'll upload, so like here's, here's what I've built so far, Those are all the, these are all the pages. And then when I'm done, I can just hit share, and it's going to publish it up to the web. Right. And it's going to give us a link that we can share, and it's iPhone optimized, awesome. and uh, it's all free. So sounds good. This is the read.